royalty. Hey Empress, hey Empresses. This video is going to be for Virgo, Summer Rising Venus, and North Node. I'm sending out a bunch of peace of the light, always powering out to me. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. And first things first, I only have one YouTube and one Instagram. It's at Mega Dreams. Don't get scammed. I'm not emailing you. I'm not DMing you for any money or any readings. That is not me. You can only book a reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages from the divine. I change your mic for OG. Please come down and protect me. Because I channel this different energy for you to say thank you. And please come down and protect the viewers that are clicked on this video today. Let's begin. This video is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Virgo. Because Virgo needs to stop. Virgo, don't stop. Keep going. Keep pushing forward. Something is making you feel like you need to stop or you need to give up with, with moving towards your goals or towards some type of achievement that you want in life. And you don't need to give up. It's, it's not It's not time to give up. Okay? Yeah, we have here. Listen to your, listen to your intuition. Yeah. There's definitely something in your life. So this is what I'm picking up on. There's something that you could be holding on to. And it's like your ancestors, your angels, just saying there's something that they want to move you towards. There's something that they want to bring into your life. There's something that you need to say no to and you need to reject. Okay? This could even be people wanting you to say no to listening to your intuition. And that's the wrong thing to do. Okay? It's, in, ooh, it's important. I need to move closer to y'all. It's important to listen to y'all's intuition at this time. It's so vitally important. Okay? What does this know about for Virgo? Yeah, Virgo, listen, somebody here wants you to compromise. You have, a, you have a major opportunity coming in. And someone here wants you to, they, they, they want you to change up your karma. They want you to change up. They want you to, to miss this blessing coming in. This could be like love. This could be finances because it's money. This person is rejoicing. This is just you feeling blessed and highly favored in your life. Someone wants you to compromise it and your angels are like, no. This is also someone here wanting you to mess up. Or doing something that could affect your health, which is horrible. So it's definitely something that you need to reject out of your life that is detrimental to you on a lot of different levels and on a lot of different ways. Okay, what's this listen to your intuition about for Virgo? Something here, yeah, something, okay. Something here that you're about to do or that you want to do or that you feel like you need to do, your intuition is telling you don't ignore the red flags. It can be telling you don't do it. It could be telling you don't stop in regards to going to the right path, but you need to hold up in regards to doing something that is going to be detrimental to you. This could even be listening to negative influences around you. Okay, something is just not the right time. They want you to reconsider because it's a no. Okay, it's not, it's not going to be good. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's not going to be good. You have some type of peaceful resolution. What's this about? Yeah, if you communicate clearly, yes. There could be some type of resolve or, or communication. This could also be in regards to like a friendship for some for some of you guys. It could have been a fallout in regards to like a friendship or some type of connection. This could even be in regards to family. And there's going to be a resolution that comes about from it. Tell me more in regards to Virgo. Ooh, Virgo. Oh shoot, someone here is just not getting it. <laughs> Ooh, someone here is just not getting it. They're not understanding. They're not they're not getting it. You also need to be mindful of, and this could be someone that you are connected to at this time. Okay, this could be someone that, that's watching you. Look at this. You need to be mindful. This could even be your ex. Because I see your ex is receiving karma. So they could be trying to come back towards you. To try to stir you up, you need to work on your heart. Yeah, there's this could be a connection coming back towards you that could be trying to make you compromise something that you truly want in regards to your life. And it's time to say no. It's time to focus on self-love, self-care, working on healing your heart, 
working on you, okay? You could also be saying is it only about the money or someone here is saying is it only about the money? Is a connection only about money? Is it solely just about that? Yeah. Someone here could have been hiding secret lovers and it's getting ready to come to the light. It's getting ready to be revealed to you. You're getting ready to see who this person has been dealing with. If you have been in a connection with somebody, you've been feeling like this person has been lying to you. They have. Okay, it could have been an emperor. This is definitely someone that has children. Okay, someone here has children. And they're lying. And it fell on top of communicate clearly and peaceful resolution. It fell on top of this side, which is where these cards are. So you could be wanting to reconcile with a man. This could be someone that you have children with. Or this could be someone that, you know, is a it could, it could be married. The emperor is usually a married man. Okay, or someone that's in like a power role, a dominating role. Okay, someone is still lying. They're not telling the truth. Yeah, look at this. Oh yeah, someone here could be saying they're not letting you go. And they're using sex magic. So this ain't even true love. If you have to use sex magic, love magic, spell work to keep a hold on somebody, that's not your person. Ooh, that's not the connection you need to be. That you need to be in. Someone here is a mama's boy. They're very codependent cool, on their parents. Oh my gosh. And they're lying on your name. Yeah, this is someone, someone here is, no, is like no longer watching you. This person could have been heavily watching you. Now they're not watching you anymore. What's going on here with this emperor? What's going on here with this mama? This Someone's deceptive. Someone could even be cheating and creeping with their friend. Nasty. And you using it to summon it because this person could be comfortable. It's like you turn their back on this individual. And it's like they're looking back towards you. Someone here is looking back towards you like, do you know what they got away with? Do you know what they got away with? Someone here is like, are you, they, they're trying to outsmart you. They can even be trying to manipulate you to take them back or to come back towards them. It's, it's karma coming in. It's judgment coming in. That's just what it is. Scorpio could be significant here. Someone doesn't have anything. The king of principles in the reverse. Oh my lord, the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You could be connected to another Virgo. And you could be talking to a Taurus or a Capricorn. Mm -mm. And someone here wants a stronghold on you. And it could be because right now you're single, you're independent, you're focused on yourself. You're very highly favored at this time, very blessed. And this man, this, this, this man don't have nothing. Somebody is trying to come back towards you to use y'all. This man thinks y'all are like them with it. That's why I'm laughing because it's like y'all are so intelligent. It's not even the case. This person feels like they could play you. This man could have like a nice home, a nice car, nice nice clothes. You know, like they, they could appear to have a nice life or they could be trying to keep up with some type of like nice lifestyle, a luxurious life. They don't got shit. Somebody's bank account is on zero. They are behind on their bills. They're not taking care of anything in their life. Somebody here has it's an unfit father. They lack self-control with their, their finances, their resources. They don't have anything. They're losing their assets. Someone here is extremely greedy, manipulative. They're a liar. They'll do anything for money. It's a con artist. It's just a scammer, a schemer. Someone who's a thief who will steal from you. Who is trying to steal from you, trying to take from you? Get the things. Seven or somebody is sneaky, deceptive, and you have already learned some type of lesson with this individual. You already have learned some type of lesson. You already closed out some type of cycle here. So it's now time for you to go to the next level. It's now time for you to elevate. It's now time for you to evolve. Okay, this is someone that could be reaching out to you. You could be finding out some type of information, or they could be sending you a message. Yeah. But you're about to have options. What you don't even see is you have another lover coming in. Or this could be someone that has another lover. Someone here could have different options in regards to love. Or you're getting ready to have a lot of options in regards to love. God damn. 
Some of you could be confusing different people in regards to love. There's a choice that needs to be made. Gemini energy is here as well. Aquarius is here. Scorpio, Taurus, Sagittarius, Aquarius is here. What's this love is about? Some of you have an option in love. Or you have options in love in regards to a relationship. This could be someone that has a crush on you that's coming towards you for some type of relationship or stability. You're going to have a choice to make. If you want this, if you want this, this could be a water sign coming in. It's fated to take place. It's, it's divine timing for it. Someone's getting ready to come in and it's, it's, it's aligned with you. It's aligned with your soul contract. It's aligned with you. It, it's like God's hand is over this. Someone's coming towards you. Tell me about this, this person and it's a soulmate. Damn. What's the seven of cups? What's the, what's the seven of cups about? 77 is here. Don't ignore this warning. Don't ignore this warning. This is also a confirmation for some of you guys. What's the Seven of Cups about? Someone here is, yeah. Someone here is coming in and they're, they're, they're yeah. It's not who you think it is. This is someone that is, is yes, they are human, but they are not. They soul ain't right. They soul is being used by this person. I don't know. I'm going to put it up close so y'all can see. Why is the Seven of Cups here? I mean, why is the, um, is the Seven of Cups? Something needs to be put to rest. Cause something, yeah, something needs to be left out in the cold completely. Abandoned. Something needs to be let go of and healed from. What's the Ace of Cups about? Is this, yeah, someone here is, yeah. I cannot make that up. You need to put a situation to rest, Virgo. This devil energy is getting ready to try to offer you a proposal or offer you love or offer you a commitment. And it's to use and abuse you to hurt you. This devil energy wants to lie to you, cheat, steal from you, try to keep you away from God, from your joy, your happiness, your bliss. They don't want you to trust your intuition at all. The initials BJ could be significant. Someone could be a dark high priestess. Or someone just does not listen to their intuition. This person does not want you to listen to their intuition. They're waiting on you to be foolish. They're waiting on you to be not, not to be careless. To not listen to your spirit guys. To go down the wrong path. To move away from your purpose. Your, your calling. Your blessings. Your new beginning. Your abundance. Your prosperity. Your happiness. God. They're so nervous of you getting into this position of actually being a wife, a provider, a, abundant, having a business, being able to take care of yourself. They are so nervous about that. They do not want you to become this Virgo. So you have a major choice. 13, 13 on the clock because I'm saying this. This is a major choice. Yeah. I cannot make it up. You could be listening to your friends at this time. Okay. And they could be telling you to give a relationship a chance. But this is someone here that is going to stab you in the back. You see? And that's why your spirit guides are bringing in new love. And there's going to be an opportunity for you to communicate, for you to have a peaceful resolution so that you can forgive, learn, and move forward. From a past life relationship that could have kept you stuck for a long period of time. It's time for you to have true love. And someone new that's going to come in and really show you what love is about. It's all about you just saying yes to it. And this is definitely someone that's going to make the effort with you. And it's going to be equal. I hope this helped you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. I hope this helped y'all. I love y'all so much. I'm sending y'all up and it's a piece of light always. And I will see you in the next video.